Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Libra, the cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, ooh, that card wanted to come out. If none of this hits home, um, just try a different message or a different reader. That's fine too. Real quick before I get into the message though, I want to, I have an announcement. <laughs> Um, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, I believe that's 10 p.m. Central, I am going to be going live doing a podcast with none other than our very own Mama D. So if you guys can find her, she's one of us here on the channel. She's actually a face two and a moderator as well. Um, but go look up Mama D because we are going to be uh, doing a live podcast tonight and we are inviting everybody to come join us. Uh, in the chat because you're obviously going to be a part of this conversation with us moderators if you could show up that'd be great anybody interested in becoming a moderator just show up to the live requested in the comments in the live comments and i can go ahead and push the little buttons next to your comment and make you one all that means is that when people spam the channel and put things that shouldn't be in the comment section you can delete it you can even block them or just pause them give them a timeout let them think about their actions yeah Anyways, let's get into the message for Libra. I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot, and I'm just going to do a free-for-all since the cards want to come out. Well, no, let's do a full Celtic cross spread because that's what I was originally thinking, and we already had cards come out, so let's stick to the original plan, yeah? We have the Hierophant coming out first, so Taurus energy there. We have the Four of Swords, Libra. What's in the foundation? King of Swords, Aquarius, Chariot, Cancer, and the Devil, Capricorn. Well, these are just all over the place, sign-wise. Got a little bit of everything going on here so far. Page of Swords in the recent past. News information. This is screaming. You've got an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other. Or, you know, God and the devil, angel, demon, whatever. And you're feeling pulled. You don't know what to do here, Libra. It must have been this information that you just received that's got you like, what do I do now? Crowning you as the two of cups sideways. Completely sideways. I'm keeping it how it came out. Maybe there's some kind of commitment here that you're getting ready to put to rest. Some kind of relationship, friendship. It's like you can, you sense danger and you know that it might not happen, but there's always the chance that it could too. I hope you're not self-sabotaging something here. Like I'm going to break up with them before they can cheat on me or before they can hurt me, before they can abandon me. I almost wonder if that's what's going on here. What is in the near future for the Libra I'm picking up on here? Queen of Cups. This is someone that's emotionally available, so not self-sabotaging. Interesting. Or did somebody else choose to be? Oh, this might be. If this isn't a relationship that's about to be put on pause, then maybe it's a relationship that's been on pause. And you're just unsure about it because there's so many unknowns. Like, has there been growth? Have we changed? Or are we still in our toxic ways doing things that we that hurt this relationship in the past? This feels like family to me. This feels like family to me. Like siblings not getting along. He's got swords, swords, swords. All the people are swords. It feels like 
Yeah, it feels like family to me. Um, fears, worries, concerns, blockages. Okay. Seven of Cups. And it landed on this decisions. This could also be overwhelm where there's too many possibilities. There's too many options. There's too many ways that this could go. So you're just feeling very overwhelmed. I think that's exactly what it is too. I think you are overwhelmed. You need some answers. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So the universe views you as not, not working on this currently. That's what I mean. There's something about this has been on pause or it's about to be on pause. But there is like the universe is viewing you as not wanting to work on this. Or maybe not seeing how you could work on this. Maybe this isn't something that you need to work on. Maybe you've tried to work with somebody and they took advantage of that. And you're just like, ooh, wait a minute. Pause. What the fuck? Yeah, temperance. There's, there's a time out. There's a time out. You are not taking time out to work on this right now. Because I think you've done everything you could do here. Oh, that's scary. Because in love and romance, like relationships like that, um, if you have nothing left to give, the love is gone already. It might take you a minute to realize that, but holy shit, that's the moment. What's the goal? Oh, today's coffee is brought to you by I'm Too Magical for Your Bullshit. And I'm pretty sure this unicorn is shitting a rainbow. So there's, there's that. <laughs> the goal is... Sorry, what's the goal? Ooh, you're shuffling funky. Nine of Wands. That's the that's Chiron. That's Wounded Soldier. Sagittarius energy. Um, give me, yeah, thank you. More on the nine of wands. We have the eight of wands and the moon. It's false information. Oh my God. Okay. So there's some kind of illusion with these messages. Like somebody is purposely only telling you a part of the story. This is a child. This is a page. Somebody's being immature with communication. Somebody's purposely leaving out part of the story. Somebody's purposefully giving you wrong information. There's some kind of illusion. Things are not what they seem in this communication here, in this contact. Someone's not telling you the full fucking story. I really, if you are hearing about another individual... I need you to cross-reference that information as much as humanly possible before you go and make any final decisions. You absolutely need to talk to this person before you go and cut them off. Because I don't think what you were told is the whole full truth, the spectrum of what really fucking happened. There is, that's false information. I don't know how I didn't see it with the page, because it's the page. Okay. That's why the devil's in the foundation. Oh, you sneaky fucker. Every fucking time. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Caught it. Caught it. It's fine. It's fine. Matter of fact, hold on. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, because now I'm curious. Was this the right move to make? To stop working on this? Or to not work on it any further? Depending on those that it have been on pause and those that might be on pause in the very, very near future. Three of Wands. There's a future here. There's a future here.
Oh my God, Libra, you've been bamboozled. You've been bamboozled. It's getting hard to, my anxiety is kicking in. <laughs> Two of Pentacles, this and that are, mm, mm. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> All right, what is the outcome? Potential. Because you always have the potential to change the outcome. If you don't like it, do something to shift the energy. Now that we know there's been false information portrayed, what is the outcome? Because obviously the outcome, not knowing, hold on, stop. When you receive the information, the outcome is a pause on whatever relationship you just got information about, right? But now that you know that information wasn't 100%, factual now what's the outcome there we go i just wanted to make sure i worded that right i didn't want it to be confusing because then so will the answer <laughs> potential outcome please for libra okay ace of cups i mm -hmm. and the knight of wands so this is remaining emotionally available this is remaining keeping your heart open keeping the emotions flowing. This is about going after your passions and your desires. And we're upgrading from that page energy to knight energy. Knights have the potential to become kings. I'm telling you, there's potential. There's a future here. Ooh, I think the devil tried to get you to sabotage something. Or at least somebody that's working for him, even though most people don't realize they are. When they are, it's not like they always work for him. They didn't, you don't have to sell your soul to, to do the devil's bidding sometimes. See, and that's just it. Somebody gave you false information so that you would ruin your own shit, but we're catching it. Or maybe you didn't catch it. And... Now you're realizing and you want to make right. Or someone else is realizing and they want to make right. Either way, right? Because it's energy is fluid. It could be you. It could be the other person. It could be either way. Yeah, temperance. For those of you that have been in separation with your friend or your family, it really feels like a family member, dude. Um, this time apart has really allowed both parties to think. I also think that both parties have grown quite a bit. It's probably been a year or two years. It's been, it's been a minute. I'm getting at least a year or two. It's been, it's been a minute. There's been time to change, to grow. Yes. Yes. There has been a lot of growth. There has been a glow up as well. Oh, somebody's had a glow up. I love that. 1333. Wow. At, on the timer. That's the first I've glanced at the timer. This whole reading. Actually, 13, 33, even 31 are extremely powerful numbers. It's all about four. Four is law and order. If you take the number of R, E, D, you get, it all boils down to a four. Same as blue. Interesting how law and order uses red and blue lights, and it's all four. I'm speaking in code. I'll stop. I'm just saying fours are about foundation, law and order, and you, your incoming energy is the four of swords. All right, let's pull animal spirit oracles. Closing messages for this very interesting Libra reading. Um, I was not expecting that. <laughs> and it's a three. Armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. Not just with other people, but with yourself too. Make sure you're checking in and you know where this information is coming from. And, you know, there's, there's a difference between how... When good energies send you messages, it comes across one way. But when nasty energies send you messages, 
it usually has a different ring to it. If you, if you know, you got to learn discernment, you got to fucking learn discernment, man. But, um, setting healthy boundaries, that's huge. And again, not just other people, but with yourself too, right? Making sure that you're not doing things to ruin your own pie, so to speak. Knowing your own worth and value, 54, which is a nine. And nines are all about that wish fulfillment. Know your worth. Pick spirit. Use your mind wisely. 11. Those are doors. 11 is justice. I was just talking about law and order and how it's red and blue. <laughs> Look at the back of the card. A lot of blue. Use your intuition wisely. Know what doors to close and what doors to keep open. People lie. People lie. Energy, though, energy doesn't lie. And at the end of the day, at the end of the reading, you still have a lot of love for this individual or I guess it could be more than just one person. I'm really getting that it's like a single individual. And again, it really feels like family. Like your cousin is your best friend. Your sibling is your best friend. Yes, you guys fight harder than any other relationship you got in the family. But you guys also love and trust and support each other harder than anybody else in the family too. You know, like this is a very important relationship. And I actually think that you both have a lot of love for each other. So I think you guys will be just fine. Somebody's going to feel um, really bad though. Like, I didn't just hurt me, I hurt you, I hurt us, right? And the other person's like, if I was told some shit about you, I'd probably be hurt too. And, and you know, yeah, it, it's natural. It's natural how you two are kind of just blending right back in with each other. You know, it's, the forgiveness is very real here because the love is very real here. Even the devil himself couldn't fucking come in between you guys. You know how they say the devil couldn't reach me, so he sent this person to rip my heart out, right? Even the devil couldn't come between you guys. That's fucking saying something. As a plane goes over. That's saying something, too. Chameleon spirit act as if 14, which breaks down to a five. Fives are all about change. What a reading, Libra. What a, what a reading. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.